Welcome to day 2345. I know lots of days of what you have for now, Sharon Hornell from here. And I track and document my journey via uh, this video log because I have vision challenges and I especially have vision challenges right now. I'm actually still on dumb couch potato status, according to my doctors. So it's, uh, I'm sneaking and tweaking out of it a little bit, but uh, for another couple of weeks. But today, for Supersize Your Business, we are talking about chat marketing strategies and using them for lead nurturing. And then we shared a six-step process for actually implementing that strategy so that you don't just hear about a strategy and say, oh, well, that sounds good, but how do I actually do it? We shared step-by-step -step how you actually do it. Because pretty much everything we ever want to do can be boiled down to a four to six or seven or eight step process, right? Or we can break all those steps down into a dozen steps and a dozen things. And it depends on how our brain works and how we want to run our business, how detailed we want to get in our instructions of how we're going to do things. But for the most part, I think the older I get, the more I realize we need to simplify, simplify, simplify our processes, simplify and automate what can be automated, simplify and repeat and do what can be done to get us the results that we want. And usually the results that we want there's a whole lot simpler way of getting them than what we're actually doing or what we think we have to do. So we, we shared that today. We've been talking about chat marketing a lot, and I think it's because I personally need to do a little more of it for the beginning parts of the sales process in my own businesses, not just in uh, the businesses that I help. Because we're seeing great results in the businesses that I work with for the beginning of the process, for the lead nurturing, for getting people's questions answered, for being available 24-7, for helping them to qualify or disqualify themselves from whether they want to work with the business that we're talking about or not. Because guess what? All of our businesses are not for everybody. And so we're looking to sift and sort and find the people that are right for us. And they're looking to sift and sort and find the solutions that are right for them. And sometimes those will match. And that's what chat and automating that beginning process can help us do. And it'll also help them to get to the solutions they want faster as well. So it's a win-win type thing, which I love those things, right? You know, a lot of people talk about win-win, but they don't really mean it. They mean, I want to win, but I want to also let you think that you're winning. But I actually think that everybody can get what they want if they just are willing to be flexible, open, and work it out and figure it out. Because there's always a solution to absolutely everything out there, right? It's like when people think that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and you're only going to get this opportunity once. That is the biggest lie on the planet. Not maybe the biggest, but it's a big fat lie. Uh, there are opportunities swirling around us all the time. And if we pass on it or if we don't see it, that means it's not right for us right now. But that doesn't mean there won't be, you know, infinite possibilities and opportunities down the road because there always are. For the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, today we are talking about step seven of our growing process, which is give to get. Give what it is that you want to receive, especially in your relationships, right? If you want to receive love and attention, give love and attention to your partner if or the person that you're in a relationship. Maybe it's a work relationship. Maybe it is, you know, if you want your boss to give you respect and attention, guess what? You better respect and give attention and do the things that are expected of you in your boss's eyes as well. Uh, I think it's it's such a simple concept, yet we struggle with it so often. I mean, so often, and, and there, are, there are givers in the world and there are takers. I have definitely found that to be true. Uh, but the givers tend to get better results in the long run than takers. Uh, you could probably spend a whole day talking about that, the concept behind that and the, and the principles behind that, and the core values behind that. And, and we always get to choose how we're going to show up in the world. But I say let's give value because the more value we give, the more value we receive. The more we put out into the world in a positive way, the more positive things come back to us. And it's not immediately reciprocal, but it does work out that way, at least throughout my lifetime it has. Uh, that's all I've got today. It is Sunday here in my neck of the woods, so that means I will be planning and plotting out next month's uh, framework and content. And, and I've already got the framework in my mind. It's written on a calendar, but I like to map out beginning of the month, each day's actual topics. Sometimes I tweak and change them because that's the cool thing about doing your own challenge. You can change what you're going to talk about 
if you want to on the fly. And some days I do that. Some days, some months, something will come up that just is like, yeah, no, I got to talk about this right now. Uh, but otherwise, I do like to, and you know, it's about as much a time I have planning for planning. I have time for with respect to the annual challenges. I'll sit down today and I will map out the topics. And I like to have a topic planned ahead of time. So if I get busy, which I tend to often do, uh, I can know what I'm going to talk about. If you have any topics, we're going to the type that actually I'm going to ask right now. If we, if there's anything with respect to financial growth that you want to have us talk about in the challenge, please, please, please comment below this video. Send me a message, box for me, do something and let me know. So I include that in the next month's walkthrough and detailed focus on our financial growth. That's what we're, that's what we're moving into. I didn't even talk about that in the challenge today, but guess what? We're going to talk about it tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, if there's any topics that you have a burning desire to know more about, please, please, please let me know and ask. Uh, I, I encourage people to ask because one of my biggest challenges throughout my life has been being willing to ask, right? And mostly it was because I didn't want to look stupid. I didn't want to ask. I remember in college, uh, I was in the engineering programs at co in college, right? I'm, I'm an engineer by profession. And back in that day, because I'm pretty old now, there were two women in my engineering program, me and one other woman in my engineering program as we were going through our engineering classes. Everybody else was guys, right? And so believe me, it was very intimidating to be the only woman in the class, the only girl in a class, because I called myself a girl back then, uh, the only girl in a class, and then raising my hand to ask a question because I didn't understand something. Because I never wanted to look stupid in front of all the guys, which, you know, talk about peer pressure. It was silly. But, you know, looking back now, it's like, boy, that was silly because I had to struggle and try to figure stuff out or or find somebody else to be in study groups with because I didn't want to ask the TAs and professors a question and look dumb in front of the guys. Boy, that's silly. Uh, so always ask because guarantee you're not the only one with the question. If there's a question in your mind. I guarantee there's other people that have that exact same question. All right, that's it. I'm done pontificating. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.